So in order for two people who speak different languages to communicate, a translation from one language to the other is necessary. Mathematics, especially algebra, has a language of its own. Solving real life problems with algebra requires translating words and ideas into mathematical symbols. The first step in translating problems into mathematical symbols is to recognize words and phrases commonly used for certain mathematical operations and relationships. Notice that there are often several different words or phrases for a mathematical idea. So when you are, um, you're going to have some sentences and we're going to translate them. We're actually going to translate them either into expressions or equations based on their words. So all these here, we need to just make sure that you know that all of these mean addition. And the one that's really, really important is the sum and um, more than and greater than. I'll obviously add and plus, you're going to remember those. Those are, and then increase by also. And so um, those are all ones that you'll need to make sure you know. This one we won't worry as much about for you to write down. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right? And so subtract. Subtract. Obviously the word subtract is going gonna, is gonna to be one that we're going to need. But uh, when we go... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, so the ones you really need to make sure of is this word less than here. And the word difference, that's what you're going to see often, and decreased by. The rest of them have this, this one obviously also, this is kind of obvious, the decreased by, and that would be subtract. But this less than, I'm actually going to scroll down here just a teeny bit and talk about it. Um, if I had a phrase that, um, that said something like, I have five apples less than six. Why do I say that? Wait, 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 wait. That's not what I want to do. If I want to, oh, less than you, okay? So if I have five apples less than you, and I wanted to write that as a mathematical phrase, and I don't know how many you have, so I'm going to use the letter X for that. And if I have five less than you, we have to be real careful because this less phrase means I'm going to put it, when we said it, we, put, we said the word less than, I had five less than you. So this five less than, if we just totally translate this from left to right, you might write it like this, five minus x. Okay, but the, whenever you see the word less than, you always need to realize that you're actually going to write it the opposite direction. You're going to write it yours minus five. The way I would calculate mine is if I have five less than you, I would figure out how much you have, and then I'd subtract five from it to know how much I have. Okay. okay, so if I had five and we found out later that you had six. Okay. I wouldn't take 5 minus 6 because that would give us a negative 1 value. And you can't, I couldn't have had a negative 1 value. I have 5 less than you, so we'd have to have 6 minus 5. So whenever you see the term less than, you know you've got to write it backwards. You can't okay. translate from left to right. Okay, so hopefully there'll be some examples in here. I'll make sure we find some so that I can use that one. Yes, I'll make sure that I do that one. Okay, I'll make sure I do that one. Okay, so let's clear all this. Okay, so let's move on to multiplication. We're going to talk about the product now, okay, or the multiplication. The ones that are really important are the word product. That You're going to see that over and over and over. The other ones, if you're going to do twice, that means two times. Times, we've heard all, all along. And then would to double also means two times. Triple means three times. And I should put a, a multiplication like that instead, okay? Mm -hmm. So if it's twice, I'm going to multiply by two. If it's um, double, I multiply by two. Triple, I multiply by three. So I multiply by three. Okay. But product means I'm going to find the product, I'm going to multiply the answers. Right. Okay.
Okay, so now we're going to do division. The ones that are important for division are the word quotient and ratio. So if I'm going to find the ratio of two things, I'm going to divide them. If I'm going to find the quotient of two things, I'm going to divide. The other ones have the word divide in them. Right. Half, um, you're going to take half of something, you're just going to multiply by half or divide by two. To find a third of something, we'll divide by three. Okay. Right. These other ones, whether we're going to do powers or roots, um, to square something is an important one. That means you're going to multiply it by itself. To cube something, it's going to multiply by itself three times and so forth. And so this is a really right. important one to know. Okay. Now we're going to go to these ones that recognize equality. The word is means equals. So make sure you know that one. The rest of them you're going to have is equivalent, and that means equals. Equals means equals. Um, adds up to, now that, be real careful. Adds up to means well, you're going to add it and then it equals together. So that's something all wound up in one. The result is has an is in it. Now these ones down here are a little bit different. They all have is, but they have something else with them. Those, I'm going to totally draw a line here, because the ones up here have to do with equals equals, these down here are greater than and less than. If you have an is greater as opposed to just plain old greater than up here that you had up here earlier, um, if you have an is greater than, then it's an, then it looks like this. If you have an yeah. is less than, it looks like this. Up here we had decreased by or a greater than and we had some less thans, but we didn't have is less than and we didn't have is greater than. So if I put the word is with it, it turns it into an inequality. Okay. And so we have an is greater than or equal to, so when we have is then we put with an equal together, and we have a less than or equal to together. Right. Okay. okay. All right. Then there's some other phrases that are important, and um, let me highlight them that were here that we said were good, or these two. Okay. Which you need to write down. Okay. So some absolute value, you've seen that before. We're just going to just put the line around it. We have reciprocal here, we're going to turn it upside down. Okay, And opposite, this is a good one to talk about. Opposite, if I have 5 and I want the opposite of 5, it's negative, negative 5. Okay, So make sure that opposite just means the negative of it. Right. Okay, If it's already negative and they say the opposite of negative, then it's, it's positive. positive. Okay? Okay. Got it. All right. So then now, let's do some examples. So if I had um, the instructions say to translate into symbols, and some of these, if they don't have an is, or an is less than, or is greater than, then they're not going to be equations at all. Mm -hmm. And so if I have um, 8, let me see if I can write this for a while, 8, I think I can write